In parts 1 through 4, we covered setup, tip selection and installation, setting tip temperature, and preparation of the work, handpiece, and tips. Now we're ready to remove a component. To begin, bring the handpiece and tips straight down over the component staying at right angles to the board. Then gently squeeze the tips together, making good contact with all the leads. Avoid contacting the component body, substrate, or adjacent components. If necessary, readjust the tip gap. The goal is to evenly heat all the solder joints to reflow in a rapid yet controlled fashion before lifting the component. Complete solder melt of all the joints can be observed visually or by the component yielding to a very slight movement. Never apply force or lift the component before complete reflow. Otherwise, you may cause damage. When all of the joints have reflowed, the component can be lifted off easily. Move the handpiece over a burn-proof surface and release the component. Follow this same method for all other four-sided and two-sided components. If you don't get rapid, complete reflow of all the solder joints in about three to five seconds, remove tips, rotate 90 degrees, and try again. This technique helps evenly distribute heat when very high thermal mass joints are present. If you still don't achieve complete solder melt quickly, remove the tips and try one of the methods described in part four for improving thermal linkage with the component leads. You may also increase the tip temperature to within your organization's guidelines or maximum safety limits. For extra heavy boards with ground or voltage planes or on ceramic or polyamid assemblies, preheating the assembly using a PACE hotspot set at approximately 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit will greatly speed up the removal. If you are still having difficulties, check to see if there is a conformal coating on the board interfering with heat transfer during reflow or an adhesive underneath the component preventing removal after reflow. Review Part 4 and other PACE videos for conformal coating removal methods. For components bonded with adhesives, use the bridge fill method. When all the joints have reflowed, use curved tweezers to pry up a corner of the component. After removing a component, contamination left on the lands and old solder should be removed before replacement of a new component. See other PACE videos for safe, effective methods on removing old solder from surface mount lands. Next in Part 6, we'll learn important regular maintenance for your Thermotwees handpiece.